You guys are not this fast. The way you say it's leaking all over the place. Delta kit here. There's a little tool that it comes with to take the handle off, so hopefully the handle will come off. Sometimes these faucets get corroded and you can't get them apart. I can't get the handle off. Packing not right on the top there. I don't know if you can see that or not. We'll try tightening it first. See if that works. We'll try tightening it and see if that works. That might just take care of it. I got a rebuild kit for it if I have to rebuild it. But. A lot of pressure right down here in the water. I think that's going to take care of it for us. Leaking out the door in so. It was really leaking out the top there. That's where it was leaking out. See, it's right coming right there. There's o rings in here that need to be fixed. So let's see if we can take it apart. I'll shut the water off. Alright, I got the water off. Alright, so it's off. Let's see if we get that nut off of there. back and then once we tighten it we'll tighten it again there's o-rings in here these o-rings here and you gotta check this sometimes I'll take a sandpaper and sand because if this gets rough in here it won't seal Some key grease in there. I'm gonna take my sandpaper and I'll run it on the inside. Sometimes it gets pitted. Sometimes it gets pitted and uh, it'll stop it from getting a smooth, smooth transition, mama. You can see in there how it's pitted. See how it's pitted? It's an older faucet. Do what you can for her. And then, you know, if it can't be fixed, we'll replace it. That's all. You can see how it gets all... See how it gets all corroded in there? That's probably what it is. No matter what you do with the O-rings, it's still gonna... Unless you get it smooth.
we'll put new wall rings on it and we'll try it. Give this a sand job and we'll put new wall rings on it and some key grease and some plumber's grease. Here. So the plumber's grease, plumber's grease, key grease, same thing. Put a little bit of lube on there, Mama. Put a little lube. Also, I'll put some inside here like this. Yeah, that's the best I can do with it. Now I'll put it on there and spin it as you go. There you go. See? Cat back on. That's what they call a strap wrench. This way it won't ruin a chrome. back up again and we'll give it a try we'll give it another try y'all 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 a lot of times just tightening this pack and nut up will, will do the job but obviously there was multiple issues going on here with this old baby Nick level, mama. Nick level. She is Nick level, y'all. All right, we'll try that. Turn the water on, and we'll give it a. We'll give it the old gundy. We'll see what happens. We'll give it the old gundy, mama. Pressure here, that's the problem. I don't think this faucet is that old, to be honest with you. That's about the best I'm gonna do with it. Put it back together, we'll run it a little bit and see what happens. But I'm thinking it's gonna be fine. It's gonna be fine, y'all. Gonna be fine. Always good to put a little little key grease on a the shaft there get some get some lube in there because if you ever got to get the handle off again sometimes it's they're corroded on there they're rusted and you know you can't use WD-40 on water it's got to be some kind of plumber's grease that's compatible with water All right. Thank you. 
the sediment in the air. I'm gonna make sure it's all clean. It's got a lot of pressure going on here in this house. So they're down here on the right down here on the ocean. A lot of times it's uh you're putting a lot of water pressure through the faucet that you know they tend to want to spit and spit up and let me put another one on there. I don't like the way that thing's These are the ones I like, Spring Flow. They're really good. That's what's there, but it's missing. Uh, it's missing some parts. That's better. That's good. I'll leave with the old parts right there so she knows what I changed. Right down here in the ocean, I set up.